I'm going to show you how I made this guillotine Halloween prop for my haunted forest. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, like, and leave a comment. First, I cut down some scrap plywood to a size that would work for a guillotine restraining board. As you can see, I already drew the neck hole onto the wood. I then cut the plywood again to make the top part of the guillotine restraining board. I used my jigsaw to cut out the neck hole. I nailed the plywood onto two 8 foot 2x4s. I did the same at the top of the two 2x4s with another piece of plywood. Here is what it looked like after I secured the plywood in place. I then laid two more 8 foot 2x4s on top of the plywood and then screwed them in place, sandwiching the plywood between them. I screwed two more pieces of wood onto the top piece. I then used two four foot pieces as the base of the guillotine. Everything was supported with some more 2x4s with 45 degree cuts on each end. This is what it looked like when everything was assembled. I forgot to film how I made the top part of the restraining board. Basically, I cut the corner of it here and then just put one nail here so that the wood would pivot. I put another piece of wood into the base. For the blade, I used a quarter inch piece of MDF that I cut on the table saw. It was sprayed with some metallic silver spray paint to try and make it look like a metal blade. I then painted everything with some brown paint. When that was dry, I dry brushed some black on top of that. I used some red paint to add the red blood details. Since this is only a prop, the blade got secured in place with some screws. I drilled a hole in the base so that it could be secured to the ground with some rebar. I then drilled a hole in the top for the string. I used a screw to secure the string to the blade. Here it is all finished. Thanks for watching.